When I arrived in 2006 as dean, my analysis of medicine in Buffalo was uh, that it was several excellent medical bands, but what was missing was a medical symphony. This vision of greater harmony was realized when the Jacob School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences moved back to its historic home in downtown Buffalo. It joined the growing Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus for a closer connection to the city's major teaching hospitals. And it reunited the school's educational, research, and clinical activities on one site. With this unique opportunity to build from the ground up, the university launched an international search for an architectural firm. We wanted an iconic building, uh, but yet one that was within our budget. We wanted one that provided really, really innovative and flexible education and research space. And we wanted the building situated on the city's subway system so that the subway station was essentially incorporated uh, into the building. The result is a $375 million city landmark with facilities that support all kinds of modern education. Our Active Learning Center is crucially designed to provide an optimal environment for students in their groups of nine to interact and work together and allows for many of the active learning concepts like team-based learning, problem-based learning, case-based learning. Active learning is also promoted in various skills labs like the Beeling Simulation Center. Working with the high fidelity mannequins here with the instruction of some of our clinical faculty allows us to experience situations that are uncommon in the hospital. Things like codes where uh, we are asked what do we want to do next? How do you want to delegate these tasks to your nursing staff and your tech support to kind of foster that teamwork attitude and interprofessional collaboration? Our medical students have been using the Clinical Competency Center for actually decades, but now we have a beautiful new facility with 18 exam rooms um, that look exactly like the kind of room that you would see in an outpatient setting, um, except that there are cameras and there's audio so that the students are recorded while they're interacting with real human beings, standardized patients. I've been able to do an ortho exam, pelvic exam, uh, full history and physical, and all those things are recorded, so I know that I'm doing them right. The Surgical Simulation Lab is used to conduct research and teach students, medical residents, and faculty. It's also designed to collaborate with university professionals in other fields, as well as industry partners. Buffalo is going through a resurgence. There's all kinds of innovation that is attracted here. In order to attract a medical device company, they have to have a place to develop their tools. Now, the medical school is a phenomenal place to do that. The facility offers the space and expertise for the school to build new programs as it strengthens relationships with its partner institutions. When you think about what's happening with the university and you think about what's happening in healthcare here with Kaleida Health and Great Lakes Health, uh, we've become a healthcare destination and so it's a magnet now to recruit great talent. The Jacobs School is also closer to the city's underserved neighborhoods, which has inspired more student outreach and relationships with community leaders. To have the Health Disparities Conference at the medical school was significant. That was the, the university saying this is important to us and we're willing to invest our resources. The building hosts many community events and is a comfortable study and social environment for busy medical students. When they designed the school, they really did have the well-being of the student in mind. And also, of course, faculty and staff working in the building. It's a beautifully well-lit environment with lots of windows. There's natural light coming from the skylights. We have lots of little learning landscapes, we call them, which are just gathering spots with comfortable chairs and sofas. I meet students, prospective students, that are coming here to interview, and they're excited about this building. They feel the sense of community when they walk in here, and I think that influences the type of people that we can recruit to Buffalo in the future. Not only just students coming here to train, but also residents and physicians who want to work here in the future. By attracting a strong cohort of people like that, we're shaping the future of medicine in Buffalo.